Good morning, kids. I hope you all are fine. So today we are going to study about our novel Pinocchio. In today's class, we are going to discuss a brief summary about it. So let's get right into the video. A long time ago, in a small town, there lived an old toy maker named Geppetto. He sold wooden toys that he made to get by. The only thing the old toy maker regretted in his life was not having a child. One day when he was walking in woods, he found just the right kind of log for his new toy. Just the log I was looking for. I will make a beautiful puppet with it. Geppetto took the log on his back and carried it to his workshop. He put the log on his table and started to carve. But suddenly something unexpected happened and he heard a voice coming from the log. Geppetto was stunned at first but then he thought he was mistaken. Geppetto kept on carving but then he heard the voice again. I must be getting really old. I am hearing voices. Geppetto kept on working. First the head of the puppet came out. Then finally his arms and legs followed. Geppetto finally finished the puppet. set him on a chair and started to tidy up at that moment he heard another voice hello zapato looked around stunned but he could not see anybody else than a wooden puppet so he kept on with his work after a short while the puppet jumped down the floor and started dancing in the room Geppetto and Pinocchio started to have happy times together. It was time for Pinocchio to go to school. But Geppetto did not have money to buy Pinocchio his school stationery. Therefore, he sold his shop and gave the money to Pinocchio. Pinocchio took the money and got on his way to school with joy. Watching all the shop people in market places on the way suddenly he saw commotion ahead to find what was going on he went amongst the crowd because he was so short he barely walked past everyone to get to the front what he saw was a big colorful tent it was a circus tent Pinocchio was very 
very upset that he did not listen to Geppetto and went directly to school. So he started to cry. <laughs> Seeing how regretful Pinocchio was, a fairy appeared right next to him. You should have done what your father told you to do, but I see that you are aware of your mistake now. That is why I will save you, but don't you ever do the same mistake again. Pinocchio was very happy. He wiped his tears away. But I have no money. How am I going to go to school now? The fairy cast a spell, and money appeared in Pinocchio's hand. Do not waste this money. Go straight to school. The fairy took Pinocchio out of the circus. Singing with joy, Pinocchio was on his way to school once again. Pinocchio started to walk again. But this time around, he was facing another type of danger. The circus owner that had captured him was standing right there before his eyes. Because he had gone away, the circus owner was very angry. He wanted to punish him. He caught him and threw him in the sea. Pinocchio shouted, Ah! When Pinocchio fell over into the sea, he did not sink. Instead, he float on the water because he was made of wood. Pinocchio really liked this and started to swim. And it all happened while he was swimming to the shore. Hey, what's going on? Where am I? Pinocchio suddenly found himself in a dark place. He looked around but could not see a way out. Pinocchio was swallowed by a giant fish, and now he was sitting right in the middle of his stomach. Meanwhile, Geppetto was worried about Pinocchio, and he went out to search for him. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Finally, he had reached the shore where Pinocchio was thrown in the sea. He asked the fishermen whether they had seen his son or not. One of the fishermen remembered the boy 
Geppetto was asking for, and he told him that he fell down in the sea. Geppetto asked the fisherman for help. Knowing how good a person Geppetto was, the fisherman could not refuse to help. And so he gave him a small boat to save Pinocchio. Geppetto jumped on the boat and sailed to the sea. After a while, suddenly, a big storm had begun. The small boat could not handle the big waves anymore and collapsed. And Geppetto found himself in the middle of the sea. Geppetto was old and also did not know how to swim, so he started to sink deep into the water. Right at that moment, the giant fish which had swallowed Pinocchio also swallowed Geppetto. Geppetto slid down the fish's throat straight into his stomach, and he heard the crying voice of a child. He, of course, recognized this voice right away. Pinocchio, my son, I finally found you. I was so worried. Hearing his father's voice, Pinocchio hugged Geppetto in tears. She took Geppetto and Pinocchio out of the fish's belly and flew them onto the shore. Pinocchio became a very clever boy after that day and always listened to his father. Went to school every day and after school he helped his father in his workshop. The fairy saw was a nice what a nice boy pinocchio became and decided to give him a prize one night when pinocchio was sleeping she came next to his bed and gasped the spell on him in the next morning pinocchio woke up to get ready for school as always just as he was getting out of his bed he realized something was different first he looked at his hands and then to the body he was shocked he was not made of wood any more he was a normal boy he jumped with joy from his bed and ran to his father Each other with tears of joy. Pinocchio never lied again. 